I love y'all team, keep it clean I really do If you're new here, welcome I hope you've been enjoying yourself If you're old here, I still hope you've been enjoying yourself I appreciate everybody watching the videos I appreciate everybody that's subscribed to the channel Comments, leave a like on it um, All the patrons, just everything Any way that you have supported, thank you Thank you for that Because that's not something that you gotta do It ain't no requirement or anything It ain't mandatory But y'all support like crazy So thank you for that And I hope that everybody it has a has had a great week and heading into the end of Friday and Saturday and Sunday, I hope things get even better. For real, because I know a lot of people, it's been a rough week for a lot of people this week. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's been rough for a lot of people. But y'all keep your heads up, man, for real. So, um, with the Baltimore Ravens this season, I've said a few different phrases for how I feel about them going into this next 2021-22 season. Uh, one of those phrases has been seeing is believing. Now, uh, in this case, uh, I believe that the Ravens see an interest in tight ends because they love them some tight ends. Um, and I feel like another phrase that we could use for this season is check every box, dot every I, and cross every T. And leave no stone unturned meaning that the ravens they've been checking people out they've been bringing in people for visits they've been having people in for workouts and it, no matter how much depth they have at whatever position like again yesterday it was todd Gurley, and it's like hold up do we not have a gus do we not just sign him to an extension do we not have a jk do we not just draft him last season do we not have a justice hill too like what do you, oh, hello is there something we missing and they still brought in uh, Todd Gurley for a workout. So this, when this news came out about Charles Clay, the Ravens working out Charles Clay, tight end, who actually used to play for Greg Roman. So they're familiar with each other. This one, I didn't see them signing Todd Gurley. It could still happen, especially since they, they got Jimmy's involved. You know, when they get Jimmy's involved, they ain't playing. But... I didn't see them signing Todd Gurley, but this is a signing that I could see them doing. The whole Zach Ertz thing, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but So that's kind of like in our rear view right now. Um, but with Charles Clay, especially since he worked in a system before, Greg Roman, there is some pressure on Greg Roman. I don't feel like he's on the hot seat, hot seat right now. But again, the cheeks, they may start getting a little bit sweaty right now. Just a little bit. Because when your boss brings in somebody who specializes where you struggle at, that is a tap on the shoulder right there. It's like letting you know, like, hey, <laughs> no excuses. So the Ravens went and got Sammy Watkins. Who is Sammy Watkins familiar with? He is from Florida, so he's familiar with all the Florida boys. But besides that, he used to play in Greg Roman's system. So that's why I could see Charles Clay, who is a free agent who the Ravens brought in for a workout as a tight end. I could see them making this move become official because he's familiar with Greg Roman's system and he's a tight end. I mean, Ravens, you, you know, we, we know they love tight ends because I, I had to write it down. And y'all let me know if I missed anybody or anything. I think I got everybody, but let me know. Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, Josh Oliver, Eli Wolf, Jacob Breland. I done ran out of a, out of a hand already because I'm holding my phone with the other hand. Uh, Eric Tomlinson, Tony Paulson, and Ben Mason. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tight ends. If I'm missing somebody, I, I know y'all will let me know in the comments section. But they already have eight tight ends. What's one more won't hurt? It won't. It, Cause so I, I expect Ravens to sign uh Charles Clay. And the thing about him that he has on really most of all these other guys, really besides Tomlinson, but he got experience. He got experience. A lot of experience in the NFL. A whole lot. Uh he um yeah, more than all of these guys. And he has like not just experience like being in the league for a while, but actually being a, I don't want to say premier pass catching tight end, but he's been heavily involved 
in some offenses in the past. So that that's another reason why I could see this thing happening. Despite all these 50 million tight ends that the Ravens have, a veteran like Charles Clay, he could be he could be relied upon. He could be relied upon. And I'm not saying that the young boys can't. I'm not saying that. But with the whole situation again with Greg Roman, it it could make even more sense. Like he would almost be a plug and play guy. Because Greg Roman's system and hasn't gone through any of these monumental changes, anything, since he's been running it. That's his style, that's his system. Charles Clay's familiar with it. So he'd be able to come in and he'd know exactly what to do. He may need some refreshes or whatnot, but he'd know what to do. Sammy Watkins is going to come in. He'll know what to do. He may need some refreshers and whatnot, but he'll know what to do. So you get my point. So with Charles Clay, it's no different. And Ravens, last year they rolled with two tight ends. They roll with it, and it just – we a lot of us were thinking – that, oh, okay, maybe they're they rolling with two tight ends. Oh, maybe they just definitely going to make Lamar throw to them wide receivers a lot more because, you know, Lamar love them tight ends. But, nah, it is what it is. I mean, it worked out how it worked out. Um, but there was that that void, that there was that need for that third tight end. And, I mean, now, now they got about eight third tight ends. Well, actually, technically six. Uh, and we'll see who ends up making the final cut. But this is a move. Like I said, I, I think that this one is going to happen. I think that Charles Clay is going to be signed. I, I really do. Um, Greg Roman, he is he's going to go all out this year because he I think he has a lot riding on this season. A whole lot. And I just I, I do not think that. He got he got to get this he got to have this thing on point man he got to have this thing on point and I feel like it's just going to be no excuses like none hey Greg we brought in Sammy Watkins it's one of the old guys he had success with you as a matter of fact he had the most success that he ever had in his career with you hey we drafted Rashad Bateman first round pick high hopes for this guy great route runner boom there you go hey. Yeah. We also drafted Tylen Wallace. Physical receiver, go up and get it, guy. We still got Duvernay. Now they got an offseason. We still got Prochet. Now he has an offseason. Something that somebody said, I wish I would remember exactly who it was, in one of the Twitter spaces. Shout out to Twitter, by the way, for incorporating that, stealing that from Clubhouse. But anyway, somebody in the, the one of the Twitter spaces from yesterday, they made a really good point. And I was like, wow, I didn't even think of this this entire time. 2019. Going into the 2019 season, uh, Lamar, he was coming off his rookie campaign Greg Roman, he took over As the offensive coordinator Because Marty, Marty Morningweg was out Greg Roman was in as offensive coordinator It's like, okay, cool Lamar Jackson's first year Full offseason, they did their thing He ends up being an MVP Ravens having an amazing regular season in the Postseason, it was a big yikes But amazing regular season So then, how do you follow that up? Well, you go into 2020, like, all right, let's 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 implement even more stuff. Let's have an even better uh, season this year. Let's do our thing. But then the pandemic hits. So that pandemic takes away pretty much the entire offseason. So with that being said, uh, we always talk about Greg Roman so much. Some people love him. Some people don't love him. Some people like him. Some people don't like him. It's, and it's everything in between, too. But Greg Roman, in his first year, that we saw what happened with Lamar Jackson, the Ravens offensive team and everything, the Ravens offense, and they 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 exploded. It was great. Second year, the offense still did their thing now. But it it almost seemed like they took a step back. Now, I was explaining to, to them in the uh, Twitter spaces yesterday, like, how do you how do you follow that up? How do you if you how do you follow up 14 and 2? And how do you follow up an MVP season? Nine times out of ten, following up those two is you're going to take a step back. You, after an MVP, a unanimous MVP season, you're going to take a step back. After going, your team going fourteen and two, it's not many better records than that. So you're going to take a step back. But with the whole pandemic, that stripped Greg Roman. If he did have any other, anything else that he wanted to really implement into this offense, that really stripped him of doing that because it took away the offseason for everybody. Not saying that it was impossible for him to implement new things and whatnot, but it took away a lot of people's opportunities, 
a lot of coaching opportunities to get closer with the players and implement new this and that. Um, but so this year, that's why I feel like it's like no excuses, no excuses for anybody across the board. None. Um, so we, we are going to see how much the investments that they made for this offense, how much those pay off, how much the personnel that they've put into this system, how much that pays off, how much the new coaching staff that they put into this offense, how much that pays off. But it's just a, a wait and see type of thing. So Charles Clay, welcome to the ball. Well, now welcome to the Baltimore. I can't say yes. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna happen, man. I, I I will not be surprised, not one bit, if Charles Clay signs. Uh, but until then, it will just be on Charles Clay. Watch, love y'all team. Keep it clean. Y'all keep your heads up. Stuff will get better. I promise you. Promise. 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 Love y'all, and we out.